Hello and welcome to this Jedi Knight Academy mapping tutorial series. I'm going to be guiding you through the process of creating your own map. I'm going to be guiding you step by step on what to do. This tutorial is about the installation of GTK Radiant and setting things up so that you're ready to go. In future tutorials I'll also be going over important details that you need to know to make a successful map. I found that a lot of tutorials out there on the internet simply don't have the details because they may not know about it or they may not want to tell you it. Without any further ado, let's start right away. So first things first, let's install GTK Radiant. There will be a link in the description below. So first off, I'll open up the installation. Hit next. I accept. Feel free to read through it. Hit next. And here we have three options. Typical, custom and complete. I usually go for custom. And here you have all the plugins that come with GTK Radiant. I always just install everything. And here you can set the location where you want to install. Hit next. And install. We'll take a few seconds. And it's done. With that out of the way, let's create a shortcut. Go to where you installed GTK Radiant. Scroll down. You'll, you'll see GTK Radiant.exe. And send to desktop. Alright, with GTK Radiant installed, let's load it up. And first, this window will appear the global preferences. You can enable logging of the console. And here's a list of games you can edit for but we're doing Jedi Knight Academy. And finally, this option will allow you to see this window every time you launch GTK Radiant. So here we are in GTK Radiant. Looks confusing, doesn't it? I've actually never seen anyone use the editor like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Edit, Preferences, go to layout and set it to the third option. Also go to undo and set it to 128. So in case you make a mistake you can undo 128 times. Now it's asking us to restart GTK Radiant so that the layout can take effect. So close GTK Radiant and relaunch it. Hit OK. And there we are. It might still look a bit confusing, but I'll explain everything later on. First, we have a few more essential steps that we need to do before we can start editing. Go to where you have Jedi Knight Academy installed, because we need to change a few things. Go into Game Data, Base. And here we have the assets files. All the files need to be taken out so that GTK Radiant will be able to read them. One by one, right click the files and open with WinRAR. There will be a link for this in the description. Simply select all the files and drag them out into the base folder place all files and do this for every assets folder so now we'll do number two open with select everything drag it in replace and do this for the rest as well all right as you can see I've extracted everything here are a bunch of textures Alright, with that out of the way, there's one last thing that we really need to do. Go to Edit, Preferences, scroll down, go to Paths, and make sure that's directing to the Game Data folder of your game. If everything is OK, hit OK. And that's it, everyone. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, or join me on Facebook.